Bing, bing, bing. Wow. Person, woman, man, camera, TV. Donald Trump is becoming more and more unhinged by the day and a real danger to democracy. But don't take my word for it. Take it from former Trump White House communications official Sarah Matthews, a lifelong conservative Republican who served in the Trump administration and who even compares his behavior to Adolf Hitler. And who she plans to vote for will shock you. I just wanted to start with kind of what I what I said there, because I'm sure for you, I mean, you have said you resigned on January 6th, shortly afterwards, that it was a slow burn, which is a phrase you used that really stuck with me from the election until January 6th. What is it, how do you digest when you see Donald Trump running towards January 6th, almost proudly running as a, as a part of the insurrection? I think if you would have told me back when I resigned on January 6th, 2021, that just a few short years later, Donald Trump would still be the leader of the Republican Party and be marching toward the GOP nomination for 2024, and that he would not be uh, showing any remorse for January 6th, I would be shocked. Because he's I, embracing it. He's embracing it. And that's what's most crazy to me is that he has continued to double down on his election lies, despite there being zero evidence of fraud, shown zero remorse for what happened on January 6th. And I mean, look at it. I, obviously, we've seen the footage of police officers being beaten by these rioters that day. Mm -hmm. And it is horrific for me to watch that footage back. It gives me chills just thinking about it. But also, when you really think about it, too, um, Donald Trump put a target on his own vice president's back that day. They were chanting hang things Mike like, Pence. hang Mike Pence. And even to this day, he does not care. I, I'm sure you've been watching, uh, because you've been so outspoken, kind of how he's been talking in public in, in, recent, in recent days and weeks. And you are someone I know from the role. You probably read speeches. You edited speeches. You're very familiar with how he talks. Mm -hmm. As you're watching, do you think he's gotten worse, more unhinged? I do think that he's gotten more unhinged in his rhetoric. Obviously, Donald Trump's first four years in office uh, were marked by lots of controversies. But I think that the type of rhetoric that he's using um, today, it's really concerning. It's almost Hitler-esque in a way, mm -hmm. especially when he talks about things like immigration, saying things like poisoning the blood of our country. I mean, he's trying to prey on people's worst instincts and get them angry and riled up. And that's something he tends to do. But it's just the rhetoric that he's using is really concerning to me now. Uh, as it's concerning to so many people. And that may be it, but as you, because you, you've watched him, you worked in the White House, what do you want people to know about the threat of a second term? I think it sounds pretty alarmist when um, folks like myself are out there saying that Donald Trump is a threat to our democracy. But at the end of the day, you don't have to take my word for it. You just have to look at what he's saying and pay close attention when he says things like he's going to be a dictator on day one. And not even just his words. He showed us already what a second Trump term would look like by the way his first uh, term ended. So what is unhinged exactly? It's a word that people tend to throw around a lot when it comes to Trump. But what specifically does the word unhinged mean? Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines it as highly disturbed, unstable, or distraught. There's never a positive connotation that goes along with the word unhinged. But what exactly does unhinged look like? November 5th will be our new Liberation Day, but for the liars and cheaters and fraudsters and censors and imposters, who have commandeered our government, it will be their judgment day. Their I ask you what the country is just, yeah. it's so pathetic. And you know, other countries are watching this. When there's a crash, I hope it's gonna be during this next 12 months, because I don't wanna be Herbert Hoover. The one president, I just don't wanna be Herbert Hoover. Illegal immigration is poisoning the blood of our nation. They're coming from prisons, from mental institutions. They come out with uh, faucets where no water comes out. You know, if you go and buy a home, and they know what I mean, the showers, you stand under a shower and there's no water coming, and you're saying, you're, you end up standing there five times longer. We have a man who is totally corrupt and the worst president in the history of our country, who is cognitively impaired, in no condition to lead, 
and is now in charge of dealing with Russia and possible nuclear war. Just think of it. We would be in World War II. And then we beat Barack Hussein Obama and whatever the hell dynasty that is. Never reports the crowds, you know. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, you know, they, do you know they destroyed all of the information, all of the evidence, everything, deleted and destroyed all of it, all of it, because of lots of things. Like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. Ohio, you have a great company that came to me, the dish, a dishwasher company, one of the biggest and finest companies, but they were going out of business. They said, we're not allowed to use water. If we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay? You're delinquent? He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. Everything from confusing Nikki Haley with Nancy Pelosi to thinking that President Obama was bringing us into World War II to uh, mistakenly thinking that he defeated President Obama in 2016 to the mere suggestion that he would allow Vladimir Putin to attack our NATO allies. Donald Trump is an absolute wreck. I'm literally running out of adjectives to describe his mental state. Call it a, a tree stump full of angry raccoons. Call it a, a raging dumpster fire. None of this is cute. None of this is funny. This is deadly serious. This is a person who would be considered our commander in chief. And he is dangerously disconnected with, rea with reality. It's terrifying. It's so terrifying, in fact, that it has actually convinced former Trump White House communications official Sarah Matthews to cross party lines and vote for President Biden in 2024. So let me ask you, I mean, you've been very clear you don't want President Trump to be back in the White House. You've courageously talked about the threat. You are a Republican. That's why you joined the White House. You've worked for Republican candidates. Are you open to supporting Joe Biden? Yeah, I have said that if it is a choice um, between Donald Trump and Joe Biden in a general election, that even if I don't agree with the policies of President Biden, that I would put policy aside and I would cast my vote for him for democracy. Because I look at Donald Trump and this is someone who has shown us that he will not uphold the Constitution. And so there is no question in my mind then that I would be voting for um, Joe Biden. But I will say right now, my support has been with Nikki Haley. I'm really encouraged to see her performance last night in South Carolina. I know she lost, but look, she garnered 40 percent of the vote. And that shows that there is a faction in the Republican Party that wants to leave Donald Trump behind. And so it gives me hope for the future. If we're going to defeat Trump in November, we're going to need to cobble together a coalition of responsible Republicans who haven't drunk the Kool-Aid and don't think it's cool to normalize crazy behavior from a man who would be our commander in chief. This is Brooklyn Dad for Really American. Peace. And make sure you like and subscribe to the Really American channel where we're always speaking truth to power and bringing you new content daily to keep you informed during this critical election year and beyond.